Since searching is so important in FileMaker, let's cover some more advanced finds so you can make the perfect found set. But before we do that, I want to help out with a common misconception. Very often people think that if you do a find, it searches within the current found set. So in other words, we have a found set of one here. If we did a find, people sometimes think that it finds just in that one record and not in all 102. And that's just not the case. That's not the way it works. While you can constrain a found set to do that, that's more of an advanced feature. The standard find always searches all records and doesn't care about the current found set. So for instance, if we hit find, type in CA in the state, and perform that find, you'll see that we find 12 records. Obviously, it didn't search within that one record because it only could have found 0 or 1. It found 12 because it searched all 102. So you don't have to show all records and then perform a find. It's just a waste of your time. You don't need to do that. Let's go in here and modify our last find. And we've got the CA in California already, or in the state field. I'm going to hit a new request, which remember that's an OR find. And what I'm going to do on the second request is put in a city of San Jose. Now what you want to remember is that we found 12 contacts in California before. What I'm going to do on this one is say instead of include, I want to omit. So on the first request we say find all Californians because we have include, that's the default. But out of that found set, omit anybody who's from San Jose. So if I perform that find right now, we only find nine because it's found 12 Californians but omitted the San Jose people. And you can add as many omits or requests on as you want. You can go on and on and on. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much uh, going to be endless at that point. Another thing I like to do is find empty records or fields that are empty. So if I come over here and type an equal sign in here, I can find anybody who doesn't have a mobile phone. Now it's a little confusing when you look at the possible operators up here. Here's what it says, match whole word, but what it's meant to have is match the whole word with what you type after it, but if you don't put anything after it, then it says find empty, and that's really what it means right there. Just put the equal sign for match empty. This is highly useful because I'm always going, well, who didn't we have filled in here? Where, for instance, maybe we're starting a campaign to make sure all the mobile phones are filled in. So we can do a find, we can see that Ida's not filled in, we can send her an email or call her and get that filled in. Another nice thing to do is finding on ranges. Now you can do ranges on number fields, date fields, and even text fields if you want. We have a date of birth field here, and I've filled in some of them, and let's do a find on equals, omit, perform the find. So now it's only going to find people who have a date of birth. There's five of them here, right? You can see real quickly if we go through them, I filled them in. Now there are three that are in the 1966 to 1967 range. So I'm going to go to find again and type in 1 slash 1 slash 1966, then three periods, then 12 slash 31 slash 1967. That should find anything in that range of dates. And you can see we found three records. That one's in 1967, this one's in 66, and this one's also in 67, but notice that this one's not in the same month. What if we want to find all birthdays regardless of the year? Well, you can do that pretty easily by going into find mode and typing in 3 slash asterisk slash asterisk. That says, I don't care what the day or the year is, just what the month is. We'll perform that find. You can see it's found two records, both of which are in different years but have the same birth month. So that can be very handy if you're trying to send out, let's say, birthday cards or emails to your contact list to a quick find on the month and find out whose birthday is happening. 